Hello boys and girls, this is Ara with Magic and Tricks. In this tutorial we are gonna talk about how to create uh, hand railings. Okay, for this tutorial I create uh, some stairs with the railings around this concrete elevator shaft. In the last video we are talked about uh, how we can create the railings, how we uh, can edit this rail and this baluster. If you don't know how to do that, just go here to the upper right corner uh, and you have their uh, link for that tutorial. Or if you watch this on the mobile device, just click on the video and find this icon. For the start, if you like videos I make, please subscribe, go to Facebook and Instagram page, follow that and now let's go to this tutorial. Ok, now how we can edit the top rail or the hand rails for this railing. Just click here to the railing and go to the edit type and now you can see here we have the top rail and the hand rail 1 or before that we have here a free uh, more tools we have this angled joints now you can see we have here add vertical or horizontal segments if I go here to no uh, connector and go to the apply now you can see here we don't have the connections uh, between these rails and if I go here again and set that for add segment now you can see here we have this uh, small horizontal segment uh, join for that rails go to the edit type again here we have the tangent uh, joints and uh, now uh, we have the extend rails to meet what is that if i go uh, here now you can see here we have uh, this path of the railing and this path and we have the join between uh, the place where that two railings are meeting. If I go here to the edit type and just say uh, no connector, go to apply, you can see now we have this a vertical joint for that or we have add vertical horizontal segment uh, that is uh, for some different uh, joining or some different case of join. Just click here, go again to extend rails to meet and now you can see here the third tool of connections is a rail connections. We have the trim or weld. If I go to trim you can see here we have that trimmed connection of this and this rail or if I go to the weld now we have this nice weld of that uh, railings. Ok, for the top rail we have uh, here if we want to use the top rail I go to unchecked, go to ok, you can see we don't have the top rail or go here again and now we have again the top rail. Here we have the type of the top rail, just go uh, here to the, this uh, little square and now we have the type properties for the family of our top rail. Here in the construction we have the default join tool, now it is set to meter like you see here or we can go here to the fillet and set the fillet radius to something like 100 millimeters and now you can see we have this nice fillet join of our top rail. For now just go back here. Here we have the hand clearance. If I just put the mouse on this place you can see what is that. That is a distance from the inner edge of the hand rail or the top rail of the wall face or the center line of the post to which the rail is attached. If I go here and say something like 50, you can see where is gonna go our top rail. Just go 
and here to the minus 20 or go here to the profile change this profile to 50.50 .50, and go here to the minus 25 that is a central line of the, this path of the railing and the last uh, for the construction we have this uh, transitions if I go here I set to none now you can see here we don't have the join between these two top rail or just go here to the goose neck we have now this kind of the join or the simple and we have this simple join for that two rails here we have the materials for that top rail and here we have the extension for the beginning or the bottom and extension for the end or the top of our railing if i go for the second here and go again to this type properties and here to extension style of the extension button just go here and we have here a three types of our extension if we go here to the wall and say this length is gonna be something like 300 millimeters go to the apply now you can see we have that extension of the 300 millimeters if we go here to plus thread depth and just check that you can see now we have a uh, extension of this path for one more uh, thread or our stairs or we can say the zero thread of our stairs and then we have this uh, length of the uh, 300 millimeters if i go here and say extension style to floor now we have uh, that extension all to our floor or go here to the post and go to the apply now we have that extension to our post in this case the post is a railing and also we have that for the top or the end of our railing just go here to the extend and say something like wall 200 millimeters and you can see we have this extension and the last for the top rail we have these terminations also we have the termination for beginning or the bottom and this top end termination just go here and choose this uh, default family and go here and now you can see we have this uh, little termination uh, for uh, the joining of our railing to uh, some wall or if we go here to the floor again you can see we have here uh, that little piece uh, to join our railing to the floor okay that is all for the top rail if we now go here and just delete this what if i want here to have only this handrail because i have this wall just click here go to the edit type duplicate this type of the railing go to the ok and now go here to the rail structure delete all of this go to apply and go to the baluster here set to the none and all of this set to the none go to ok now we have this top rail but i don't want that i want to hand rail which have some support to these walls just go here to the type and here we have the all the same properties like the top rail but uh, for the handrail we have uh, these supports now just go here extension style wall 200 length here also 200 go to the ok 
go to the apply and you can see here we have now to set the position of that handrail if we go here and just click to the left now we can have that handrail just go here and uncheck the top rail and you can see we have only the handrail and we have this a little piece of the support for our handrail now you can see that is not uh, set the good if i go just click here and go to the offset from the path and just go to the zero now we set that handrail what we want and you can see here we have this extension to uh, the our wall if i go here and just edit this wall something like this maybe now you can see our hand rail it's uh, go go to that wall okay just click here go to the edit type again go here and you can see we have these supports we have uh, here the family of that support we can create our unique family for this support and we can hear the layout of of that now is set to fix a distance to spacing 1200 millimeters between this or just go here and say something like fixed number and say something to 50 numbers and now we have the 50 support all over this path of the uh, handrail and also we have here the handrail too if we want uh, to set maybe a one handrail below for kids or something like that we just go here and duplicate that and say something this is gonna be a height to 500 millimeters position is also be a left go here and now we have this a second handrail also we can go here edit type and for this second handrail just go here to the beginning or the bottom and say maybe to floor and we have something like this or just go again here set this profile to rectangle handrail and we have two different profile of the these two handrails okay that is all for this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe it means a lot to me to make uh, videos like this go to the facebook and instagram page follow that and see you next time